here welcome back thank you so much for clicking up you guys are doing great so we're gonna be checking out this video titled 10 lies you were told about islam so let's check it out elite facts presents 10 lies you were told about islam 10 there is a very well-known lie that this map is truth that around the USA there are colonies of Muslims that act as training camps for terrorist purposes only. This is simply untrue. One such place is Islamburg, an unashamed location in New York that consists of families of Muslims who live life very happily together. Here they enjoy a feast with some members of the nearby non-Muslim community as well as members of the FBI. If any extreme activity is noticed in any religious community, the authorities will investigate and mostly they'll be invited in for a discussion and allowed to go about their investigations. The idea has been put into the mainstream in order to both strike fear into others as well as come to dislike Islam for creating such an extreme place for other Muslims to be. It's the first lie we uncover today. Nine. During the Republican presidential candidate debates, one line was repeated over and over again by most, if not all, the men running. That was to pinpoint Islamic extremists as the biggest threat to the nation. This was simply a buzzword to use. They fed the bait that will increase the fear that already exists in the USA. Here are the stats that show over the past 20 years the percentage of terrorist attacks that involved Islam is less than 1%. Only one single atrocity has accounted for Islamic extremism, the train bombing that happened in Madrid. And yet that fear is still around. It's another myth. Eight. Women in Islam is a big talking point as its completely visual nature means it's easier to see and judge. It's easy to show the burqa in a bad light and one of oppression. And yet similar garments worn by more Western accepted religions is seen as faith and as being followers of their religion. The religion of Islam is one that promotes modesty in both women and men. It calls for a set of morals in terms of dress as well as in ways to simply live life. Malala Yousafzai does not practice wearing hijab but was allegedly shot by Taliban supporters for her views on women and education. In fact, the Quran promotes nothing but good with men and women being a pair, as is most things in the world, and having equal views and practices to follow in order to live on in an immortal world. Seven. Possibly the most famous myths surrounding Islam is that they have a deep-rooted hatred of the West, that everything it stands for goes against what they believe and study in the Quran. This is usually backed up with polls taken from Middle Eastern and Asian countries where they are asked what they believe good about the West and they reply nothing. And yet these polls are built to mislead with tiny percentages actually making these claims and the majority of people believe that the West's advances in medicines, technologies and personal freedoms to be something emulated in their own countries. 6. Recently, a group purporting to be aligned with Islam who has gained mass media traction is the so-called ISIS group. This is a band of Islamic extremists using the religion as a front. Why would they do that? The answer is simple. They want people to hate Islam so disillusioned followers will flock to them. If people are brainwashed to hate Islam, they will eventually take out that frustration on Muslims, which will lead them into the arms of groups like ISIS. Why does a group like this using religion cause uproar? When other religious sects use other religious signs and symbols for their own agendas, not unlike those of the symbols of Christianity. For example, see here the Ku Klux Klan using a symbol as their own totem. Five. The horrific attacks in Paris 2015, where a group of music lovers were attacked by a group of murderers, was nothing to do with the religion of Islam. It was done using their name as a front to create more hatred 
for their own personal gains. The atrocity was made worse when prolific scaremongers, Fox News, claimed that certain areas of Paris had become no-go areas for non-Muslims after the attacks as more and more people supported the killer's actions that night. It was nonsense and the mayor of Paris is contemplating legal action against them now. 4. Presidential candidate Donald Trump, superb motor mouth and teller of lies and propaganda, claimed that he witnessed thousands of Muslims celebrating the collapse of the Twin Towers in New Jersey on September the 11th. It is, of course, absolute rubbish. It is so far from the truth that many Muslims had to show themselves to support the country they were part of and they felt the pain of the atrocities that occurred. 3. This is Steve Emerson, a man who is supposedly an expert on terrorism and one night on Fox News, no surprises here, he decided that he would claim the entire city of Birmingham, the UK's second largest city, was a no-go zone for anyone non-Muslim. It was a barefaced lie. He soon tried to cover it up with belated and frankly a limp apology, but the damage was already done and a lot of Americans straight up believed him. There is absolutely no places like this in any areas of the world where Muslims will turn on another person because they aren't a Muslim. 2. Which leads onto another lie that Islam promotes violence and to destroy others who believe otherwise and that they will do their utmost to end them. In reality, there is much more damage being done to places where Islam is the main religion than in any Western civilizations. The bombings in Syria, where thousands of innocent people are having their homes taken away from them, causing mass immigration worldwide and killing people who've done nothing wrong. Muslims will happily show that they are not aligned with extremist views and that they believe the teachings of Islam to preach peace. 1. This last point is that Islam teaches its followers to destroy other religions, to rid the world of these non-believers as only those who believe in their beliefs should be allowed to live on earth. And yet stories of good and heartwarming incidents like these Christians protecting Muslims as they pray and these Muslims who are protecting a church during Sunday Mass, all of these things happened and these things displayed the true meaning of all religions when they are boiled down. The Quran states that Islam allows tolerance. You believe in your God and I will believe in mine. And that is it. No more or less. No talk of destroying others or ridding the world of religions. It's a myth, just like the other items you've been fed. Guys, there are a lot of misconceptions out there, especially the one of um, Islam, like Muslim being violent is a no-no. Just imagine, there are some set of people that they burn the Quran, they always burn the Quran, they destroy the Quran, all because of they are naive, all because they, they, they lack knowledge, they don't know what... They don't know the, that, that they are, they are, some of them know they are doing the wrong thing, but they, they have been brainwashed. A lot of people have been brainwashed about Islam, heard only about the negative part about the Islam, about the religion. To just say that most of them are not willing to, you know, learn or to research if what they've been hearing on the internet, if what they've been seeing or hearing from people is true. Just imagine all the lies being told about Islam, you know, saying that Islam is a terrorist religion, they terrorize people, no, that they are violent, no. I see Muslim as one of the most peaceful, you know, set of people in this world. They are so dedicated to their religion. I'm sure most of those people that you see them, you know, involved in all this bad art, they, they, they portray themselves as Muslim. They behave like Muslim. They dress like Muslims. In which they are not really Muslims. They are imposters. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.